What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nikolai Espresso and welcome back to another video here today on my channel. Today, we're going to be talking Call of Duty 2015 once again. At this very moment, as I have to say, with every time we bring this up, there is nothing confirmed or denied of anything yet, but what we're doing right now is just speculating and theorizing what we could be seeing here teased to us within the next month or so, and then all the way down the line with the release of Call of Duty 2015. Now, what we're going to be talking about today, I already slightly elaborated on before hand but I wanted to bring up something else just for some food for thought that may actually help prove this case a little bit more my thinking and I know a lot of people don't want me to say this simply because they want something different my thinking is that Call of Duty 2015 will be Black Ops 3 now as for why as I said there were so many open plot holes in the story throughout Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 that have yet to be determined and answered for us so I feel like that could definitely play into what could be the next title. Now, this is where we're going to elaborate a little bit more on it today. Now, just very quickly before we get too far into it, if you do like this kind of stuff and you're new here, be sure to subscribe because Call of Duty 2014 leading up into Advanced Warfare, that is what almost defined my channel and you can sure as hell bet that I'm going to be doing everything I can to keep you guys informed here for Call of Duty 2015 going up into the next title brought to us by Treyarch. So, definitely be sure to subscribe and stick around for more, but that out of the way now, let's actually talk why I think it's going to be Black Ops 3. Recapping a little bit from the video that I made somewhat similar to this, the big thing with Black Ops 2 was that there were four different endings that all had slightly different outcomes depending on what you did as a player throughout the campaign. There were a bunch of different little pieces where if you did something differently, it would alter the outcome of your actual game progress. Now, that is something that we have never seen before in Call of Duty, and honestly, I love that kind of thing. It gave a lot more freedom to the game, but then it also made it a a lot tougher for the sequels. Now, I do say that quite confidently simply because I don't believe we're going back to World at War 2 at all. I really don't think that that's the case, and we'll explain that here in a second, but continuing our little recap here, what I personally believe will happen is we're going to be seeing a Black Ops 3 covering the hole in the story where Mason was missing for 30 to 50 years from the Vietnam era whenever he was killed in the prisoner exchange for Menendez in the mission Suffer With Me. Now, initially, you could kill him. A lot of people I do know had the outcome where you would shoot him in the head and that would be the end of that. You wouldn't see Mason throughout the rest of the story, but there was three different endings where Mason was still alive. So that right there, that leaves a ton of holes in the plot and a lot of questions unanswered. Now, why do I feel so confident that it's going to be a Black Ops 3? Well, first off, we do have these plot holes that do leave a lot of questions unanswered, but then also something that may be a little bit anticlimactic leading up to it, but something from a business standpoint that just makes tons of sense, and it's something that has been consistent throughout the era of Call of Duty titles. Now, Activision and whoever the developer is of the current year's title has never gone back to a series that they started. Granted, a lot of these series have lasted over six years and stuff like that. Like the Modern Warfare series was Modern Warfare 1, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3. That spanned six years. Obviously, they didn't go back to what they did in their very first title, which was the first Call of Duty, simply because we haven't seen a World War II game since World at War with Treyarch. Now, obviously Treyarch has done the same thing, where it's been World at War wrapped up, Treyarch then started on Black Ops 1, continuing over into Black Ops 2, and a question mark for what we'll see this coming year. So, despite a ton of people in the community wanting a World at War 2, I personally don't see it happening. I don't think that Activision would even allow it, simply because they would have to backtrack all the way back to to World at War times, in which they already finished up a campaign, somewhat stir up a brand new story, and then have it possibly even conflict with World at War. Now, I do understand 100% that World at War was a great game, tons of people loved it tremendously, but I just don't see it happening. I don't see a World at War 2 opening up new doors that weren't even there. They'd have to be built to be opened. I just don't see it as a likely opportunity for where we'll be seeing Call of Duty 2015 going. That being said, on the opposite side, Black Ops 3, I know it kind of seems like I'm just sticking to this and going with it as far as I can. 
but there were just so many open holes, there were so many questions left unanswered. Black Ops 1 did a very nice job of actually wrapping up the storyline somewhat. Black Ops 2, though, had a lot of open endings. Now, obviously, with the four endings that you can choose as a player, it does make it a little bit tougher, but with three of those four reflecting Mason returning, that's where I see it coming in as probably the front runner in my mind, where we can be seeing our story go, with possibly the second, a year later, whenever we meet with Menendez once again, based off of two of the endings in which he tells you to study Ulysses and he'll see you in one year's time. That's where we're gonna end this one today, ladies and gentlemen, though. Like I said at the very beginning of this video, none of this is confirmed or set in stone, so take it with a grain of salt. Even I myself am taking it with a grain of salt, simply because anything can change here. We're gonna be getting our first information and leaks within the next month or so. I would expect something either very late this month or somewhat in the middle of next month for an actual leak leading up into what we know of the Call of Duty 2015 title. Now, as I said earlier too, I'm going to be continuing a ton of information and videos on the Call of Duty 2015 topic simply because I love doing this kind of stuff. This is now getting into my favorite part of the year, the theorizing, speculating, and then reporting time of that year where I can bring you guys this information and my thoughts on what I think is going to be happening. So if you do like that, be sure to subscribe subscribe. I'm going to be continuing this all throughout the year. So let me just think down there in the comment section down below. Do you guys think it's going to be Black Ops 3 for the reasons that I did state or do you still have some doubts in my theorizing on this and do you think it's going to be something differently, possibly World at War 2? But thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, be sure to leave a like rating down below. Any shares your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace if you're OG like that or is greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for the best of Call of Duty 2015 news and information. As I said, it's going to be coming in loads here shortly. But thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name is Lady Cola Espresso. As always, hope you guys are having a great day. I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace. Surprise, motherfucker.